All right, so we start off by opening up all the windows on the vehicle, opening up the hood, follow the instructions for the steps that you'll need to take inside of the vehicle in order to adjust the steering wheel down and outward, put both the front seats back in this furthest position to make room for the installation. Then you're gonna go in, you're gonna do certain things like shutting off the air conditioning in the vehicle and also shutting full power down to the vehicle itself. Once that is complete, then you start to disassemble the different sections of the vehicle as needed. All right, so once you completed all the prep by opening up the windows, opening up the hood, shutting down the different electronics in the vehicle, you're gonna use the supply tools that came with to disassemble certain parts of the vehicle. These are plastic pry tools, this way they don't do damage. You'll find the appropriate one depending on the application you're trying to do. Right now we're going to pop off this side panel. You're just going to slip your tool in here and pry it out slowly. There's little retention clips. Make sure you get them without any clips disassembling. Then you're just going to put this in a safe location. Similarly on this side of the vehicle, on the passenger side, you can also take a pry tool, get in here to pop off behind here of the clips. Do it slowly so you don't crack any panels. Once you remove it, put it in a safe location. All right, so this part of the removal of panels is a little bit tricky. It's very easy, but just a couple of things to note. There's some clips underneath here in various sections, and in each of the top corners in the back, there's clips going down. So just treat it with kick gloves. Take your time. Use the appropriate tool. Get underneath here and lift up slowly along the way to release the clips. And then on the top, you're going to lift it up a little bit and pull it towards you. That's going to release that clip. Once you get this side partially removed, you're going to move on to the other side. Okay, on this side, again, you're going to slip your tool from right here, release the clips, pull it forward. Now you've dislodged the whole piece. Slowly bring it up and over and set it aside. You're going to remove this rubber gasket, set it back, give you access to the kick panel and the lower passenger side compartment area. Pull it back gently, just set it aside. Okay, there's a couple of trim panels you can just want to take off just to make your life a little bit easier. One of them is being this top piece right in the corner. This one is easy, relatively easy, pops right out. Set that aside. There's a little pull pin here. You're going to use a pry tool, open up that pry pin, pop out and retain the little plug. Then you're going to slowly pull this back to reduce the clips, popping out from the bottom, throwing your way, working it back. Again, take this, set this aside. Lastly, underneath, there's a little retention clip in the top here. Use your pry tool, open up that retention clip, pull it out. That'll drop this panel right here. Unplug the light, unplug the speaker to give you access. And then there's a control box module that you'll see in the written instructions that'll show you the access on what to unplug and what to plug back in. What you have is your interface that's going to go in between the plug that went into one of the control modules up underneath the glove box. So up underneath the glove box, there's a gray plug. It's the middle plug in the right side of the silver control box. Unplug that. Once you unplug that, that male plug is going to plug into this female plug. Once you've facilitated that, you're going to take this male plug and put it back into the control module that you took and removed the gray plug from. So once you've put in your T-harness that couples in between the control module and the harness for the system, you're just going to snake this through clean areas, not obstructing where you're going to get hit by clips, pull it through inside the kick. You have plenty of length here. You could wire tie this along to custom harnesses or bring this across all the way through to the steering column. All right, you're gonna start removing the top section of the steering column by popping out these two clips. These are two-part clips, so you wanna do is get your pry tool in there, lift out the center section so these will come out easily. Make sure they don't pop off flying the vehicle. Once they're done, put them in a safe location. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna work your way around the seam to separate the column. Clips, do it on one side, do it on the other. This lips underneath, so just be very careful 
with pulling this section out. You then get your pry tool in here, run it along the seam just to lift that out. Then you can lift out your top cover. Okay, so once you remove the top side of the steering wheel section, you just want to remove this little leatherette piece. This is going to snap onto the display system. So if you can see in the side, there's little grooves here. You want to pull those back and release those first. Then take any kind of either needle nose pliers or any kind of pliers and squeeze these nubs on these two side retention clips. So this way you can pop it through. Once you remove that, you can apply it to the display system. Just pop it back in similar locations. And the retention clips back. And you're good to assemble this back into the vehicle. Okay, so what you want to do first is you want to plug in your DIN cable. You have plenty of slack, so give yourself enough room. You can always harness this extra slack later on to keep it all nice and tidy. Just keep this running in line with the top of the steering column. What you want to do is you want to slide the back piece in first. You got to get this underneath the clip of the steering column. With that clip going in on that side and similarly the other clip on the other side. Snap that snug and then follow the clips for the rest of the steering column. All right, and then you got to use some decent amount of pressure. Snap that back in and snap it in on the other side. And then once that's done, then you got to pop the clips back in to retain this.